Joseph Robert Cap was one of the toughest quarterbacks to ever play in the NFL. He wore that Viking one-bar helmet with pride. Cap was not fleet of foot, but he certainly wasn't going to let that stop him from doing what had to be done to lead the Vikings to victory. He was, in a sense, the, the offensive counterpart to Jim Marshall. Tough, focused, willing to lay it all on the line all the time. Wasn't so much concerned about his achievements as opposed to those of the team. Leadership was Cap's greatest strength. He was signed by the Vikings in 1967, Bud Grant's first year as head coach. Cap had won a Grey Cup in Canada and was a 29-year-old NFL rookie. He led the Vikings to their first playoff appearance in 1968. And then, in 1969, he put it all together. In fact, Joe Cap tied an NFL record throwing seven touchdown passes in one game versus the defending NFL champion Baltimore Colts. That set the tone for what was to come. 40 men for 60 minutes. The battle cry that led the Vikings to Super Bowl IV against Kansas City. That personified Joe Cap. He was he was all about the team and team success and willing to do whatever it took to make that success happen. Unfortunately, in 1970, the Vikings lost to Kansas City and head coach Hank Stram 23 to 7. But what the Vikings accomplished in getting there went beyond a loss that day. Joe Cap helped start a dynasty in Minnesota. His grit and determination, his sacrifice, his leadership catapulted the franchise for years to come. I just love playing for him and with him providing that leadership. So a leader, enthusiasm, and uh, again, uh, just, a, just a great friend. He played just three seasons in Minnesota and retired from the NFL in 1970. He's the only player in history to play quarterback in a Rose Bowl, Super Bowl, and Grey Cup. Joe Cap truly exemplified what it means to put team first.